I'm Allie. And I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about food as medicine. In today's video, we are going to be making one of our favorite side dishes, twice baked mashed cauliflower. Yes, so cauliflower is truly a nutritional powerhouse. It's both low carb and low calorie, so a great way to volumize and also support a ketogenic diet. And it also provides us really important sulfur containing compounds that support detoxification and can be cancer fighting. And it's also a great source of vitamin C, vitamin K, folate, choline to support metabolism, and of course that fiber. Yes. So in this twice baked cauliflower, we're doing as best we can to mimic a twice baked potato essentially. So we're gonna start with some steamed or boiled cauliflower and we're gonna put this in the blender along with an eighth cup of chicken bone broth. So it's your choice if you want to keep about a cup and a half of that cauliflower out from pureeing to have a little bit of a toothy mouthfeel, or you could puree it all into a velvety, pillowy softness. That's your call, but let's get this whipped up. So you don't want to over blend or over foam it. We're going to take that pureed cauliflower and put that into a mixing bowl along with a quarter cup of softened cream cheese. So this is organic cream cheese that we just left out for about 30 minutes to soften, make it easier to incorporate. And then over here I am chopping up the white part of a bunch of scallions that we're going to fold into that mix. I'm gonna reserve the greens to put on top as a garnish. So I'm gonna fold in the cream cheese. I think you can toss that in. And then half of our Parmesan. Yeah, I'll keep stirring this in. Uh, so we have a quarter cup of Parmesan. We're gonna do about an eighth cup into this mixture and also leave the other half to top. And then in a small bowl, as I'm mixing together that softened cream cheese in here, it's nice and incorporating the heat from the cauliflower helps in the job. Uh, we have a half teaspoon of mineral salt. This is Redmond Real Salt, uh, cracked black pepper, and garlic powder. Scallion's got my eyes watering. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that good. It's making me cry. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna chop our toppings while you're working at that. So I've got some pasture-raised bacon that we cooked in the oven. You can check out our video on why we love bacon and how to cook it in the oven in the links below. All right, so now that that's nice and incorporated, we're going to put that in a baking pan here. All this pureed mixture, and this is the final check to make sure that that cream cheese has all been incorporated. If you don't have a blender, you could mash this with like a potato masher, but totally. I think that blend really gets that pillowy goodness. Absolutely. Do you want these guys? Yeah, in? let's incorporate yeah. those on in and we can kind of just stir it yeah. in the pan itself. So this is a great dish to do when you're entertaining. It pairs really well, I will say, with a ribeye, one of my favorite pairings with this recipe. And uh, it's fantastic because you can go all the way up to topping it, wrap it in foil and set it in your refrigerator. And then you can do the 20 minutes of baking, which we'll be doing today, but you can always bake it the following day. And after we bake it for 20 minutes at 375, we finish it with a nice broil to get a nice crust on top. It's such a great side dish to bring over to dinner and to friends or for the holidays and you can prep ahead. Totally, and you can bring it again, unbaked. So yep. this would be the, the time we would top it and then just put some foil and it'd be good to go. All right, so I got all the kind of more chunky or just uh, soft to bite cauliflower incorporated into here and I think all the flavors are incorporated. I think we're about ready for some toppings. Let me just get it nice and smooth. All right, so I think that's ready for some topping. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so this is the final product. It smells so good and got a nice little crispy top up there. Again, we baked it at 375 for 20 minutes and then set it at broil for about four minutes, but make sure you check it because that broil function can cook it quite quickly. Yes, 
I think this is such a good gateway recipe for someone who's just maybe starting in keto or a little bit um, keto curious or keto skeptical even that they just can't get rid of their you know meat and potato diet. I bet this will change their mind. Yes, a lot of familiar flavor profiles and all the good things. Yes. So we hope you enjoy today's recipe and video. Make sure that you subscribe to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel where we share all of our food as medicine information, tips, tricks, and recipes. And be sure to like this video and comment below if you've tried this recipe or your favorite way to eat cauliflower. Oh, Those scallions are really fresh. <laughs>